Okay, um, eh. first off, don't stop the video, just give me a minute, I'll explain all this. There's a method to the madness. Again, it looks complicated because all the wires are crammed together. But this is our 44 pin edge connector. See, we have two rows. So, to understand what I'm doing there, let's take a look at the manual for the SE8C. Okay. Looking at our manual, we have the 44 pin edge connector. You can see here, SMTM, which is Tortoise slow motion turn on machine. And then sensor switch and then detection circuit. Um, sensor switches are like control panel toggles to activate the tortoises. And the DS are the detection sections. So the first one is on pin 5 for the detection and then slow motion turnout machine start on D and A, B. Now remember Throughout any wiring on my layout, B is the common or black. So, that's what that's for. So, look back at our board, and now this becomes a little clearer. White is Taurus machines, and then you can see red is for the blocks, and I've skipped every other. I've Sorry to block inbound, skipped one, and soldered. And I've just done that down the whole length of the board, just like the instructions. So the next step is to get this down there and see if I can get all this connected right. And then connect the signals up, and then I can move on to all the computer programming. But basically what this does is it enables, by the time I'm done, the red lines coming in from the detection sections enable JMRI to say, oh, there's a locomotive in block 6. Okay. Or block 5. Which, in my case, is a group of turnouts in the front where the track comes out of the hill. Um, and then... The JMRI can say, oh, I need to line turnout 4. Because he clicked turnout 4 on the virtual CTC panel. So, I can control the tortoises and sensors from the SE8C. So, time to get this installed on the layout and see if I can actually make it fit. So, um, stay tuned.